good. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I've got a mate over, we're in the garden and we're gonna see how many targets we can photograph in one night. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be in the garden tonight and we're gonna have a bit of an astro night. I've got my mate Andy here. Um, you've done a little bit of astronomy before? Not for a while, yeah, a good few years. Okay, cool, you don't know any astrophotography? Never, no, first time out. Okay, cool, so we've set the telescope up in the bottom of the garden and what we're gonna do is just slew around the night sky to try and take as many images as we can. I've got the mono camera set up at the moment with the HA filter and we're gonna try and just do five 10 minute subs on as many different targets as we can before we get too tired and uh, have to call it at night. So what are we shooting first? Uh, the butterfly nebula on a five minute exposure. Yes, five minute sub, five HA minute sub. filter on the butterfly nebula um, at a thousand millimeters. So the framing might not be great, um, but that's going to be the first one ticked off um, in the constellation Cygnus. So that's going to be one ticked off and then we're going to move around the night sky and see how many we can get. Once the planets, so Jupiter and Saturn, get high enough in the sky, um, I'm going to switch over to the color camera and then we're hopefully going to give that a go as well. I've never shot any planets before, um, so it'll be new for both of us. Absolutely. So that's the plan. Um, got some beers on the go, gonna have a bit of fun. Okay, so the first sub is about to come in. It's the Butterfly Nebula. Don't think we framed it very well. First five minute sub. Okay, and there it is. There is the Seda region. It's a bit of nebulosity. That's not actually the Butterfly Nebula, I don't think. I think we missed the Butterfly Nebula. Um, but we do have a bit of uh, bit of the Seda region. So what's your thoughts on your first ever astro image? Yeah, it's, I don't know what the right terminology is to use. It's cool. It'll be even better when we capture the thing we're looking for, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would help. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the uh, part of the Seda region. Okay, we'll move on. We're going to go for the Crescent next. Okay, so the second target we've gone for tonight is the Crescent Nebula, so right next door to Seda, um, and it's just about to come in now hopefully so you excited yeah hopefully we've actually got what we aim for this time i think we're good <laughs> i think we're good judging by the preview yeah right saw earlier. <laughs> okay so that's just finished as you can see it takes a while to load these images and there you go there's your five minute exposure on the crescent nebula so that's number two <laughs> two of how many what's the target we can get double figures, that'll be good. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. We get double figures. That's cool. Okay, so we just popped out front because the ISS is just about to, to transit, so I'll do my best to record that for you as well. I'm running out of things to say that aren't <laughs> funny, but are like <laughs> iffy comments. Okay, so third image is about to come in, Andy. What are we shooting? I want to say, this is going to be an outtake. I want to say the Cygnus Nebula? Cygnus. Close. Cygnus Wall. Cygnus Wall. Cygnus Wall, yeah. So yeah, this is a target in the North American Nebula. One part of that nebula which is a huge nebula, so shooting at 1,000 millimeters will just fit a little part of it in, but it is quite a cool part. So it's just loading now. Okay, there you go, Cygnus wall, number three. <laughs> Loads of detail in that HA. It is pretty cool. Happy? Extremely, yeah, three down. <laughs> Okay, so while we're waiting for some subs to roll in, decided to set up the Star Tracker. So we've got the Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro here. And this is why I started out in deep space astronomy just over a year ago. So I bought this just before the first lockdown um, and I had some fun with it before upgrading to an equatorial mount. So I thought we would uh, set this up. I've got the Sony A7 III on top with the 100 to 400 lens and we're gonna try and get a 
image of Andromeda. So now got to do everything manually, trying to find in the night sky, no plate solving. Um, hopefully we can. Okay, so the first 30 seconds sub test sub just to see where Andromeda is. And I can't quite believe it. I don't know if you could see it on the screen there, but I actually found it straight away, which is quite cool. So there you go, it's framed, that's at 100 millimeters. So I need to zoom in now to 400 mil and we'll start taking some images. Four's just about to roll it. We've decided that we're going to go for the Pelican Nebula because it was right next to the Cygnus wall, obviously. So that is just about to come up on the screen now. There it is, the Pelican Nebula. Looking quite cool. Not quite as good as the uh, Cygnus wall, but quite a bit of detail in there anyway. Zoom in. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad for your fourth ever image. I'm taking full credit for it, obviously. <laughs> Set the kid up, take the photo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so image number five is just about to pop up. This is the elephant's trunk nebula, or hopefully, anyway. Again, another five minute sub. And <laughs> we've just about got the elephant's trunk in here. <laughs> so I think we might take that one again. So you can see you can see the elephant's trunk there. What do you reckon? Is that a is that a win, Andy? I or think we go again. I think we go perfectionist and go again. We go again. Yeah. Okay. We missed it. Number five. <laughs> Okay, so Andy, number number six is all you. So we're going no after pressure. the cave nebula, which is SH two one five five. So over to you. This is just great content right here. <laughs> Idiot in a, with an iPad. SH two. What was it? SH two one five five one five five. Okay, so how long have you been using the ASIR? Uh, cumulatively 10 minutes probably in total. It's pretty good software. Easy to use? If I'm using it then it's idiot proof. But I might hold on to saying that until I've actually done it right. Um, but yeah, it's really nice interface, easy to use, potentially a new sponsor. So, <laughs> but yeah, if I can make it work after a few hours then uh, anyone can pretty much so we extended that to a 30 second exposure and we're currently waiting for the results of that to come out for the preview and then as the one with the knowledge you are going to decide whether or not we're looking in the right place that looks pretty nebulous to me yeah that looks like the cave nebula okay so, so are you happy with that yep cool in which case we want to go into the auto run setting actually I need to reset from last time haven't done that yet and then we're in auto run now still set to 5 minutes from last time out and we're good to go simple as that good work ok then so from start to finish Andy, who's never used the ASIR before tonight, has just photographed, hopefully, the cave nebula. So we'll watch it come in now. Hopefully not spoken too soon, eh? There it 
this. Quite a small target. But it is pretty cool. There we yeah. go. Idiot proof. <laughs> what do you think of image seven? Which one's your favourite, Alfie? Which one's your favourite? Is it image seven? Which one's your favourite so far? You're trying to listen to me, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so image number seven is just about to load, which is the Pac-Man Nebula. <laughs> and here it is. One of my favourites. That is cool. What do you think, Alfie? Good? So this is the bubble nebula just about to load, which I think is image seven or eight, maybe. I'm not quite sure. I've lost count now. <laughs> there it is. The bubble. And here is a very needy dog. Okay, so I think we are on our final image I before switching over and trying to do the planets. I think you're right. So what do we go for? What's the final image? Um, so we've gone for the Eagle Nebula, which hopefully will pop up any second now. With the pillars of creation. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> it's not a bad way to finish. That is pretty cool. So there they are, the very famous pillars of creation. I've never shot this target before, so pretty awesome to see it pop up on the iPad. It's not bad for a five minute shot, eh? <laughs> so cool. That is so cool. Okay, so like I said, we're, we're finished with the nebulas now. I'm going to switch out from the um, mono camera to the one shot colour, and hopefully, we can get an image or a video of Jupiter and Saturn. I've never done this before, so it's probably going to go horribly wrong, um, but I will show you how we get on in a second. Okay, so we are now down the bottom of the garden and we have changed over cameras. We've got the 2600MC Pro and we have Jupiter in frame. So this is definitely not the right setup to try and get any decent images of Jupiter. But we're taking a video at the moment, so this is live. Um, we've got it at 240p, so very low resolution to actually crop in to see it. Um, but yeah, we're just taking a video of Jupiter, you can just about make out his Jupiter, um, but it's quite cool anyway to see. So I'll try and uh, split the video, get all the frames and then stack it for a final image. It's going to be a pretty bad image, but I'll give it a go, this is definitely not the right setup. It's not the right camera, it's not the right uh, telescope, definitely need a longer focal length, but it's pretty cool to see anyway. Hopefully if Saturn pops out from behind the house, we might be able to give that a go as well. Okay, so it's about 3.30 now. We've just finished uh, trying to get a video of Saturn and Jupiter. Didn't turn out very well, but we, we could recognize that they're the planets, so it was quite good fun. Um, but yeah, we managed to get, what do you reckon? About, about 10, maybe 15 images. 
um, which yeah, is pretty decent. Up, yeah, yeah, we'll round up to about fifty, maybe. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun night. Had a few beers. Alfie kept us company. Did a bit of astronomy. So yeah, yeah good fun. Annual leave is good. <laughs> Annual leave is good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know how many images you've managed to capture in one night. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.